This is a uh, chapter five homework question number fifteen. Yours uh, will be slightly different than this one, but it's still exactly the same question though. It's only your values, the numbers, are changed. Okay, so therefore the solution I provide here that should be good for every one of you to solve your own version of this same problem. Okay, I just assume you already write your questions. Some of you probably already write that several times. So this is the first part of the question. You can use that information to find out the f value. Once you find out the f value, then you can solve the mass of DDT and then the concentration of DDT in spinach. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I would like to divide this question into uh, four steps. So we are going to use four steps to solve this problem. This is a uh, this is an internal standard um, type of question. So therefore we need to, of course, remember the key equation in internal standard. So is uh, this one. That's the signal of the analyte over the analyte concentration equals, so this uh, I've Remember this the uh, um, so I've multiplied by the signal or in this case peak area of the internal standard AS is the internal standard divided by the concentration of the internal standard. Okay, so that's the relationship. F is the response factor, of course. So, and in this first step, we are going to use the known information, all of those information, these four, they are given in the first part of the question. So, let's take a quick look of the first part of the question. So, you can see, Right here, those value. Come on. Yeah, so 7.5, 8 milligrams per milliliter, that's DDT, and then the internal standard or standard. So that's the um, 3.6 milligrams per liter and then you see the peak areas are those two so therefore you see the four all of the four information four pieces of information they can be found right here one two three four and you need to know which one is which of course so you use those you use those information, okay? Uh, and then you can find out the response factor, that's I, equals 0 0.242 for this particular question. And right now you see what we use here is the standard solution. So standard solution means you know everything. Okay, that's what you prepare. So therefore, everything here, that's the standard solution. Once you find out the I, now you will use the I to further find out the concentration in your unknown sample, the concentration of DDT in your unknown sample. Okay, sorry about that. This is almost 9 p.m. So, uh, uh, 7 p.m. I think 7.30 ish. Anyway, um, yeah, then we are going to use those information 
to solve for the concentration of DDT in the unknown solution, you see, in the unknown solution, okay? So in unknown solution, we still use the same key equation though, but now we know F, we already know F, okay? And we still know signals, so those signals, they are given in the second part. Now the first part anymore is in this part, okay, of the question. So, and then we need to find out also before we go any further, we need to find out the uh, concentration of the standard. And the standard, so is actually diluted 1.5 milligrams into, diluted into 25 milli, 1.5 milli, milliliters, I'm sorry, has been a long day, over 25 milliliters. Okay, so that's a dilution factor. And after the dilution, it's no longer 12 milligrams per liter, it's 0 0.722 milligrams per liter. So that's this S value. Now we know this one, we know both of this, and we know F. You see, we just plug those numbers in, and concentration of DDT is the only unknown. So therefore, we can solve concentration of DDT in this diluted, in this diluted unknown solution. You probably should add diluted, diluted unknown solution, okay? Uh, this is not the actual concentration in the original unknown sample for DDT though, okay? So now let's find out the mass of DDT. The mass of DDT, so first the DDT concentration in the original sample, we need to find out first. So in that original sample, so that should be actually this value, that's the concentration 1.92. And if you go back to the question here, you should be able to find out the dilution factor that is one milliliter diluted into 25 milliliters, that's 25 times dilution. Therefore, the dilution factor is 25. You need to multiply by that dilution factor. So therefore, this concentration is increased. The concentration in this diluted solution, diluted unknown solution, right? the word diluted, so it's increased to 0.92. Okay, just made a correction here. So 1.92 milligrams per milliliter. Okay, take the dilution factor which is uh, 25 over 1, basically it's 1.92 times 25, that should give us 48 milligrams per liter. The unit is still milligrams per liter, 48 milligrams per liter. And this is the concentration of DDT in the uh, original sample. But we need to find out the mass of DDT though, so therefore the concentration in, of the DDT in the original sample, 48.0 milligrams per liter. And there's about three milliliters of the sample was used for the analysis, 2.98 milligrams. Here we have liters, uh, milliliters. Here we have liters, and here we have milliliters. Obviously we have to convert from liter to milliliters, so which means we have to cancel the liters there. So, and now after this calculation, the mass of DDT is 0 0.143 milligrams. Okay, so that's this many milligrams of DDT in the about three milliliter of the original sample. And last time, we need to find out the milligrams of DDT in one gram.
grime or you can eat grime of spinach. So this is also a concentration if you may, it's only it's a milligrams of analyte per gram of sample. Okay, so that's that kind of uh, specific concentration. Anyway, we already know the milligrams of DDT. Uh, now we just need to know the mass of the sample, which is the spinach. Uh, in this analysis, if you read the question carefully, that should be actually there are 12.13 grams of spinach uh, was used. So therefore, the ratio of the two, which is 0 0.0118 milligrams per DDT per gram spinach, that's the answer for the second part of the question though. Okay, so yeah. And that's the solution for number 15 in chapter 5.